Break the VOD. Cool. Break the VOD. Okay, awesome. Sweetie, sweetie. All right, thanks, Steven. Yep. All right, cool. So, oh, right. I got to do this. That's so mind gamey. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> um, I, sure, yeah, as long as it's not, like, too loud. He's really hooking us up here. Oh, yo. Hey. I like that. I like <laughs> that, Steven. That was, that was fire as well. The jam. Indeed it was. That's good. There we go. Okay. Burp. Awesome. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. No problem. All right. So, I'm going to go back to the beginning here. Um, Found's a good stage for you. I'm, I'm kind of surprised Indeed. that you didn't strike this. But, yeah, it's really good just because of the side platforms. You know, you can, like, down smash and get some in there. And I'm surprised that he, he even wants to go here. But Well, I mean, the three that he has to choose from is Fountain, uh, FD, or Dreamland. Yeah. So, for starters. Makes sense. Makes uh, sense. But I feel like FD should be fine versus him. Super good down tilt there. Um, yeah, I've been trying to work a whole lot more in that into my game. Really good edge guarding. Okay, you got to be careful of that. Yeah, should have refreshed. So like, yeah, if Sheik's if Sheik's like, uh, you you don't even need to like, like drop down and refresh type thing. Like like if he's if he's um, I wonder if I can. No, I probably can't. Okay. I still had my float there, so I could have done the drop and insta float, and then I could just uh, let go and I can regrab immediately. Yeah, the thing is, when he's here and you know that he has his double jump, which, like, for sure he will because you hit him off the platform, Yeah. you just got to be wary of this. Like, j double jump forward air is, like, a really common thing that they do if they still have to double jump and, and, you're, and like, you're on the, the ledge like this. Really what you should do is just norm neutral stand-up, like a normal stand-up. So just mm -hmm. press the control stick forward. The forward air will miss because of your invincibility. And then you grab the ledge quickly just by, just by um, instant dash. float. Oh. Or wave dash. Instant float's just easier and more safe, yep. usually. So you don't have to worry about the air dodge. And yeah, obviously that's an Self accident. Self-explanatory. Yeah. <laughs> that's how sad I was. Yeah, but you make sure You can't see the camera, but I'm, I'm oh. crying. <laughs> yeah, you just got to make sure to do those neutral get-ups. I like the taunt. That's such a good... Whoa, that up air was actually awesome. But it's such a good approach at low percents to uh, to go for the turn-up throw into neutral air float. Or float neutral air, I should say. Okay. And so right there, basically, you just needed to stand up more quickly. Yeah, I didn't uh, think he was going to make it. Yeah, you have to try the, the stand-up timing, so that way, if you do a neutral stand-up, it should, like, barely be enough to kill him if he tries to go for the ledge. But if he lands on stage, you can still get a punish. Generally, you want to punish with, like, short hop neutral air if he lands on the stage. Mm -hmm. Normally not down smash, because it'll send him to the opposite side, and, like, he'll Depending have, like, a chance. He lands. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Right there. Um, yeah, I have no idea how to get around that. Okay, when he's in this position, if he... Um, generally what you want to do, like, when you're, when you're stuck like this, after this up B... Like, you up B pretty high. You kind of have to up B high right here, yeah. right? And you're going to take a hit no matter what. Well, you might not take a hit. But, like, you can pretty much expect to take a hit. And it's good to go as high as possible here so that we have more options to up B. And what, you, what you're what you supposed to do there... Um, after this up B, and he commits to the back air, right? You're supposed to... Um, fast fall the parasol like you want to like go down a bit and then open it right under him it cause, so that way it's safe because if you um if you if you're directly under him uh what you can do with just fast falling then he can't do anything to punish you like he's gonna your umbrella is gonna hit him mm -hmm. so after he missed his back air right here 
I need to write um, that one down. You want to you wanna fast fall right here. So basically press down so that way your umbrella closes, and then open it back up by pressing upwards and floating in. I'll give you a minute to write that down. <laughs> but it's just really good. You have to notice when um, the main thing is recognizing when your opponent misses an attack. Whenever they do, it's normally safe to fast fall. Um, and if you watch a lot of Armada videos, which I'm sure you do because pretty much all Peach mains do, um, this is his main way of getting around edge guards. Just by like fast falling um, when he's up being. So, and then he opens the parasol right under them so that way they can't do anything about it. And you're actually in an advantageous position at that point. Sweet. Got that. Noted. I never even thought about doing that. Okay. The down smash is like, like obviously it's really good I on the platform. I slotted those needles, though. Yeah. Yeah, true. <laughs> That's true. Um, normally, what's really good there instead of the down smashes, like if you do, if you do two and they both miss, you probably need to stop down smashing because cause like yeah. he knows that that's exactly what you're going to do. Um, uh, like a main thing that you have to think of is that everyone's going to expect you to down smash. If you're used to down smashing a ton, your opponents are just going to plan expect it. So like what's really good is to just like um, fall through. Like you could have maybe fallen through this platform and did a neutral air with a fade back. So basically you fall through, you do a neutral air, and you hold left. So that way you, um, you'll you outspace any shield grab that he does because he was he was down there shielding, I believe, if I remember right. Yeah, so right here. Oh no, okay, so he, didn't, he was just trying to space you out. So like, mm -hmm. so like the, the answer there, instead of down smashing, um, is just to uh, to fall through the platform and neutral air. It's probably a good thing to just cover a lot of space and to see what he does. Um, and what's also really safe after the neutral air is just doing jabs as well. Um, you just have to be careful with like um, the the down smash and like hoping your opponent will jump into it. It's one thing to call them out for it, like say, "Hey, I know you like to jump right here. You're gonna jump into this down smash." Like that's one thing. But like, if you have no information yet about how your opponent likes to play, or what will work, what won't work, I would recommend to just not down smash and hope that it hits them at the beginning of matches. You know, you normally want to. Um, uh, maybe a good thing to do is just straight up crouch and see if they're gonna jump or not. Like, if they're showing that they're not gonna jump, then it's normally not good to down smash there, and you should probably just eliminate that option from your. Uh, like inventory like that's probably it's probably never going to work if they already showed that they're patient enough to not jump into the down smash so instead you can just fall through a neutral air which is also insanely good and almost unpunishable as long as you have the right drift so really so drifting away with the falling neutral air yeah and they can't really do I too struggle much with it. as soon as i get on a platform above someone yeah i just freak the fuck out because i have I no know. idea how I to get around get down or without getting screwed. Yeah. Another thing to do is uh, shield drops. Shield drops really good. Like just, um, do you have a shield dropping controller? Can I have a third party drop? controller. That's because it shield drop. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if third I'm party controllers can shield drop. <laughs> no. I have a Wait, janky what third party. Do you use? It's a little pink one that I got from is it China. Mad Cats? No, it's like six bucks. It's just like some <laughs> unnamed brand controller. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's great. Yeah. Well, it's that pink one right there. It's on the chair. I wonder if it shield drops. No, nah, not. The my uh left and right on the analog is actually slightly down. So like if you okay. ever see me on a menu, I'll hold right and it like slightly is just going <laughs> down. Same with the left hand side. Left hand side goes more down than the right. The biggest advice I can ever give you. And then pointing down actually goes slightly right as well. So it's not even got true cardinals or anything. The biggest advice I can ever give you is to get to get an official controller. <laughs> it's so cute, though. It's yeah, pink. that's true. <laughs> to be honest, though, if you can play well on it, then I would. Then why not? <laughs> why not? I mean, you seem to be doing fine. To be honest, it would just be nice to have the option to shield drop. But if you can't yeah. shield drop, um, it's still a pretty good idea to shield in general, or just crouch. Just crouching is really good because it shows like, hey, 
I have the option to down smash here, so be careful, but don't actually commit to the down smash because a lot of players are going to wait until you down smash, and then the down smash is over, and then they hit you. Yeah. So if you're just crouching and you don't actually down smash, they're just going to be waiting there for a while, and you can wait to see like if they actually want to come in with an attack or not, um, which generally, like, um, they they won't until you actually down smash because crouching is just very terrifying as a player below you. Mm -hmm. Like if you're crouching, it's like he's gonna down smash. But like I know he's gonna down smash. That's when you don't down smash and you just drop through a neutral arrow okay. or something like that. If you want to play it safe, you can drop through and float and down air above where their where their mm. head is. The down air is a really safe thing to do as well. Got so, it. And less difficult, especially on cheek. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So you can you know crouch if they don't do anything. You, uh, you let go of your control stick and then press down again to fall through the platform. How do you crouch on a platform? Um, normally... Can you do that? Or do you have to do like the tilt kind of crouch? Or? Normally if you get knocked onto a platform, like uh -huh. I think the situation And you're holding here, down? Yeah. Or? Yeah, exactly. Like the, it's basically just like buffering it down. Like you're okay. already holding down when you're on the, the platform. So uh, let's see how you get on the platform here. So right here you did a back air onto the platform, right? So you would do a back air... Land oh, on the platform. you can't drop through while you're doing an aerial. Right. So, so you would do it back air and just hold down. Mm -hmm. So, and that's okay. that's pretty much it. So you hold down while you're in the lag of the back air. Got it. And that's how you do it. Um, it's pretty difficult to crouch when you're on a platform just standing there. Yeah. But that situation actually doesn't come up very often. Usually, Got when you're it. on a platform, it's coming down from like an attack or getting hit onto a platform, something like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, normally, you can just hold down before you even reach the platform and just like land on it. Okay. So here he's doing a really good job spacing out of your down your down yep. smashes. So like, yeah, just like um, crouching is good because he's waiting till the down smash is over, and then you can fall through and and uh, uh, either float down air or you can just run off the platform to be safe. Like you could have just like run yep. to the left here, that would also be safe. Good recovery right there. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what I'm talking one. about with the down smashes on the platforms. I mean, they're good, um, but like you, like you can't think of it as like when you land on the platform, just down smash and hope they jump into it. It has to yeah. be like a call out. It has to be that I have that to have some prior information that they're actually going to go for it. Yeah, especially on game one. Exactly. Exactly. I read you. That was a good down smash right there. You just got kind of unlucky with the trade. That was probably an accident. Probably meant to forward throw, I guess. Yeah, forward throw for sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, it's things like this that happen very quickly. But just you damage need to, just gets racked up. Um, Something that happens really quickly, but you need to recognize, really. So if he goes for, um, if he hits you right here, like with a forward air, this happens a lot of times, right? Or mm -hmm. like, if he actually does jump, call out your float, and hit you with a forward air at low percent, and you land on the ground, you can assume that this Sheik is probably going to fall down with another forward air. So that's something that you can predict, um, and probably get him, probably shielding is probably your best thing, or just like crouch cancel into dash attack. Uh, that's another one. Instead of instead of really? doing, I have uh, time for that. Yeah. If they L cancel it, um, technically no. But, okay. But at low percents, sheiks, in general, aren't going to. Uh, they're not going to try to like. Um, stand right next to you. It's usually like they'll footer and then dash away because they know that you're probably going to crouch cancel down smash. So they're trying to avoid the down smash. Um, in which case, dash attack just gets them. You know, d crouch cancel into dash attack is mm. just super good. Okay. It's a good, it's an extremely good alternative, alternative, alternative. What's my grammar for uh, uh, to down smash? So right there, which I'm actually surprised you didn't crouch cancel it, but um, 
But yeah, you have to recognize when that's coming. So if you do get called out from floating, um, just recognize that like this forward air is probably coming, and you yeah. should crouch cancel it for sure. Crouch cancel is the answer here. And what happens after crouch cancel, generally a dash attack is good. Normally down smash is pretty predictable. So you got to be careful of that. Double tournament winner. Tournament winner, yep, that's the worst. That was a very good recovery, actually. That was a very good kill. <laughs> that was just like updating oh. the wrong way at the first attack. Right. So in general, um, it's like threatening the down smash. Like, like you want to crouch and show that you can down smash, but you might not okay. down smash. And if they show that they don't want to, like if they're going to wait for your down smash to be over, this is conditioning, really. Like if they're going to wait for your down smash to be over, this is when you don't down smash, and instead you drop through and do an aerial. Um, and then after that happens for a while, some players will start getting more brave, and they'll start like jumping into you calling out your crouch yeah. and then that's when you just down smash yep that's it and it's like it almost turns into a rock paper scissors thing yeah but it's like it's a good thing because you control the pace of that rps where like he's the one guessing he has to take he has to take the risk your risk is very low in that situation where you're just crouching on the platform am i going to down smash or not if not you get hit by an aerial and that's it if you call them out correctly you're going to get a down smash to take a bunch of damage for jumping into your um, yeah. your attack. Or if you fall through an aerial, it normally hits them off stage. So they're off stage. And so you don't have much to risk by just crouching on a platform, just staying there and making them guess, like, is he going to down smash or not? And, like, it's super risky to go for that hit. And what a lot of smarter players do is just run away. Which, in their case, like if you can do that correctly, that is the correct choice for them, for them to just run away. And that's what you yeah, want to make not them play do. that game. That's what you want to make them do. Okay. To respect you when they're on the platform. Because it's looking like Spider Chase is expecting you to down smash. Yeah. And you're kind of in that mode of I'm just he's gonna jump into this down smash. And like he's just not. He's like waiting for it to be over. Um, so like just sit there and wait a minute and just crouch. And uh, if he if you get hit by a forward air because he calls out that you're not going to down smash, then that's okay. You know, it's, it's just a hit and you're not Small off stage. Small price to pay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That was a mess up there, I know. This stage in general is like, can be pretty annoying versus Sheik because of the needle game. Um, but more of that, like that, basically what you did there, um, this when you float like when you float at like this height above Sheik it really scares them on this stage this is what you want to do most of the time like just float in this position at like this height and threatening either coming down with forward air or back air generally if you're facing them using forward air is better it just has a better and stronger hitbox than back air does mm -hmm. um, but uh they generally have a hard time dealing with floating at this position. And what you want to do is like float above them right here and just threaten like, I'm, I'm about to come down with a forward air. Or I might not. Like, what am I going to do? And the point is like you get them scared that way if you're just floating there. It's actually extremely intimidating to play against. I hate when peaches do this. <laughs> and Armada especially is like extremely good at it by just like staying in that float range and not really challenging Sheik when she's grounded. You don't have to play the ground head to head. You don't have to be like on the same plane as them. You can be above them. You're above the Sheik. You don't need to be on the same level. So that's what's... Dude, this fly is... <laughs> right? It's coming back for round two. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, but um, that's why like when you, when you did it right here, and you did this float, he's kind of just forced to respect it. And he can't really take many risks right here. Um, so um, you're like in the advantageous position if you're able to, to get that float. Sheik's... Um, Spider J is actually pretty good at this. He's he kind of does the same thing with Sheik, except it's not as good with Sheik because she can't float. Mm. Um, but like he's he's basically threatening with those fares. Yeah, that, so that's what he's doing on on this stage really by just doing short hops um, and coming down with that forward air. Like that's what he's doing is basically what you should be doing on this stage, except you would win if uh, 
if you both like challenge this because you have float and he doesn't and so you can like stay there as long as you want well three seconds but yeah. in melee three seconds is actually That's a long forever time. yeah <laughs> so if he's doing this if he's doing his zoning game um jump backwards and float and threaten the forward air that's probably the best thing to do, I feel I feel that. Or at least it's a good thing to do against a Sheik that's playing like this. You don't think he'll hit me out of it with just a short out forward air himself? He can, but um, if you get like too close. It's you know? reactable? Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. So you okay. want to like float towards him at a certain distance to where like forward air would kind of barely miss. And if he comes towards you, you float backwards. And uh, floating backwards into forward air is just like ultra safe. Okay. Basically. Retreating so if he, Yeah, retreating forward air. And that's if he actually tries to come at you and challenge. But uh, if you're like... How do you do that if you don't play claw? <laughs> oh, you can actually just press... Like, af oh. after you're drifting backwards... Yeah, so you, you press, press the fair and then keep drifting backwards afterwards? Um, you press forward and A on the yeah. control stick. And then you can let go of float. Like, you want to do, like, a float cancel forward air, but, like, coming mm. from really high. Yeah. And... Uh, like, as you're floating backwards, you can actually just, like, really quickly press forward and A and then keep drifting back as well. Got it. So you don't but it'll lose interrupt the drift back just slightly, though? Yeah, slightly. Okay. But, like, not enough to matter too much. Okay. So it's still, it. it's still fine that way. Napkins keeps trying to tell me to play Claw. Uh, I don't think we need to. It's not... I mean, like, it is better... Mm -hmm. but not by so much that you should actually change the way that you play if you're not comfortable with it. Okay. You know, I think it's fine to, to play without it. Like, I don't think it's, like, necessary. Got it. Um, I don't think Armada does, actually. Armada doesn't use Claw. It does not. Um, it, so, like, it doesn't affect it that much. It's, like, better, like, um, frame data-wise, like, spacing-wise, to a very small extent. So, like, you don't really okay. need to worry about it, to be honest. And if you see when you're floating, like when you are floating, you're getting him like almost every time. And I think it's things like that that you need to realize. Uh, the main thing being that if you're if you're hitting him, you have to think like, why am I hitting him? Like with a float cancel forward air or float cancel back air. Those are the things that really work just very well on the stage. So like a part of like just getting better is recognizing what's hitting, why is it hitting, and I need to keep doing that. Yeah, so I think like uh, a main problem that you have is is just uh, committing to down smashing too much. I'd agree. Uh, if you do like you know spot dodge and he misses the grab, down smash is good. Um, but in general, like, like that's that. a good down smash. That's yeah. a good down smash. Uh, in general, though, if you're if you're not like a thousand percent sure that it's going to hit. Um, it's usually just better to not. It's usually better to just not down smash and instead just jump and float. So that way like you're in you're in the position to hit him with a float cancel aerial. I do tend to do a lot of preemptive kind of um, attacks and just like throw stuff out there expecting them to run in. Um, so basically what I'm saying is replace your down smashes with jump. Jump float. Okay. I think you'll find a lot more success if you just do that one thing. Which, it's not easy to get out of the habit of, uh, you know, oh, nice. <laughs> uh, DI mix up. Yep. <laughs> I did not expect that at all. That, <laughs> Whatever works. That had here. a two and three <laughs> chance of working. That was a frying pan. I was screwed. <laughs> Good, yeah. The float cancels um, pretty much every time you're float. Not every time, but most of the time when you're float canceling, you're getting him. I'm winning more often than yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. That was a loss right there, but it could have uh, traded if you just back it earlier. Yep. The main point is that floating is just so good on this stage specifically. Like on FD, Sheik doesn't have much. You see how he's like afraid to do anything. Uh, that was really good, and he actually got really lucky with that down tilt. I'm very surprised that his down tilt 
Like that forward air right there that you did was hella good, and I'm very surprised it didn't hit. Normally things like that hit, and that's what you want to do. Um, so like, basically what you did here, and as you can see, like like when you're floating like this, he's he's afraid. He's afraid. Anything. Like he's not he's not really gonna commit to anything because All you right. can just do an aerial at this position. Huh. Um, <laughs> so it's things like that that just uh, just realize like recognize what's happening in the middle of the match. And that's hard to do. <laughs> yeah. But like, try to focus on. But I can um, look for it. Yeah. Try to focus on how he likes to respond to things that you do. That's the main thing about. Um, that's the main thing about beating people. Like, th that's why top players are so good. It's because they they recognize what players, how players like to respond to things that you do. Like forcing a reaction from him. Like, what's he gonna do when I do this? And you can see when he when you do the float cancels. Like when you're floating up there. Um, he's just scared. Like he doesn't, he doesn't want to attack or anything. And earlier you did a forward air, which was actually good, and I'm very surprised that his, that your forward air down missed tilt. and his down tilt yeah. hit you. I, I think that's a pretty uncommon thing to happen. A general rule of thumb, I feel, is um, if you do a. Uh, like a sequence of moves, and it doesn't work twice in a row, you should probably just not do it anymore. Almost. Oh, yeah. and a burn. Neutral stand-up, yep, very good stuff. I got a footer. question right there. Okay. Um, how I teched his forward air, but I slid off. What am I doing wrong there? Let's see. So, it's like I'm onset teching, but I'm sliding off. It's coming up. Right. Boom. See okay. how I teched, but I, I yeah. went off. I didn't stay on the edge like you see yeah. everyone do. That's a tech in place. If you tech roll, then you're going to you stay on the stage. But if you okay. tech in place. So, I got a tech in place? Um, well, so I'm holding you, down. What you did there was tech in place. If you okay. tech in place, you're going to slide off. So, like, pretty much if you God either it. don't tech or tech in place, you slide off. Okay. But if you tech roll, tech roll. you stay on until, you're, Got it. until your entire roll animation is Because I double stick down to get that and press R. Yeah. So well, I need to uh, have my control stick at, like, one of the diagonals. Um, yeah. Like, how you, how you double stick tech is holding C stick down mm -hmm. and... You want to DI in a way that if you were to like get sent flying, you would go as horizontal as possible. So, okay. uh, like, let's say you get hit by Marth forward smash, right? Um, you want to you want to hold the control stick down and left. It'll make your angle like the most horizontal yep. as possible, um, and God. that'll make you able to attack at the highest percent. And since you're holding down left, it'll actually count as a tech roll. Got in it. In that case. So, because I'm really good at getting that tech, but it always I slide off every time. Okay, yeah. So I'm really good at getting a tech in place on a lot of stuff. Okay, yeah. But so basically, what you what you want to do is uh, C stick down and control okay. stick, either down left or down right. Okay, that's pretty much what you need to do. Got it. Put it at a diagonal. Yep. I so would love to be able to make that adjustment. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm sure. really good at getting those techs. But right but. here, it was it was better to not to not um, tech roll. Oh yeah. Because if you were to tech roll here on stage, it would have fucked me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like right here. Let's say you tech rolled. You would. Oh yeah, he dude, was right I'm there. I'm gonna kill him <laughs> right. Gonna, dude, this fly. Dude, is it's tiny. Oh my. Too. Dude, this thing is it's going like ham. It's like a baby one. This thing is going ham. Like I don't. <laughs> Did you get him? Uh, I think I like flicked him, but like no kill shot. Okay. My God. Jeez. I scared him. All right. Well, if you tech rolled right here. Um, he would have been able to punish you if he yeah. if he had the reaction to, uh, like, if it's gonna save you from dying from that hit, then it's good to tech roll. But in general, for Peach, it's good to just um, slide off like you did here. Okay. In other words, because I, I probably can wouldn't recover. change. I probably wouldn't change the way that you're doing this. If I was a Fox or a Falco, then tech roll because yeah. my, I don't have the infinite recovery that Peach does. Exactly. For Peach okay. to go off stage is like fine. So right here, the answer. Float. Yeah, but higher. You need to do a higher. Than this. Okay. Like, like, 
here you're still like pretty horizontal with him. Like you're, you're still like almost at the same level as him, which means he's still going to be able to hit you with like four tilt okay. or just like short hop neutral air or something like that. You you basically need to float high. And earlier when you floated high, he's he just doesn't have an answer. Mm -hmm. You know, like he's just too afraid to to go for anything. He oh, got you he with the grab right there. Yeah, that was actually that a crazy well. grab. <laughs> Yeah, so floating high and looking for a forward air. And if you hit a forward air, uh, it knocks him down. Then you go for a tech chase. That's really nice. Just hitting a forward air is just so good. <laughs> it's even good on this stage as well. Wow. <laughs> Can't believe that grab. Gotta be kidding me. Um, a good mix-up... Um, since you're used to down smashing, instead of the down smashes, it's just uh, trying to get used to dash attacking. Um, and if you can, like, I do, do a it, whole lot of that. Yeah, the thing is, um, if you if you dash attacked in, in a lot of the situations that you're down smashing here, um, he would probably react with, like, starting to shield. Um, and that's when you mix in grabs. I feel like I attack on shield. Like, no tomorrow. Like, a whole lot. Yeah. It, it's about, like, um, uh, like if you dash attack and they shield it, if that happens twice in a row, it's very likely to happen a third time if you dash attack. So then that's when you call them out and you grab. So okay. you run and you grab them. And then you can do that twice in a row. It seems and like your general rule of thumb is do it twice, and if it doesn't work, mix it. Yeah, that's just how people play. Like that's okay. that's just what I've noticed playing. Like if you if you get in with something twice, a situation like that where mm. like normally you dash attack. If they shield it twice, then you grab next time. And the, so the second time since they're not used to that new option, it's going to work again. And I think that right there sets a trigger in most people's minds like he's going to like it's almost like a mental note they recognize the situation like he's going to grab again. And so then like you can expect them to try to dodge the grab the third time. That's the thing. So that's uh, just just the thing about mixing in dash attacks and grabs. Okay. <laughs> that's if like you dash attack and you notice that they're shielding it. Really good. That was very good. Oh, your turn up. Yeah, that was unlucky. Okay, so alive. Okay, so so to recover. After it hits you high, which is really good, you want to um, show that you have the option to go like very high, like on a top platform, right? And it gets them to want to jump high, which is what he's doing. He's trying to hit you when you when you go high. Um, so you and have the right I idea. Open right there. Yeah. You have the right idea here, like fast falling, and yeah, right here you could you could open the parasol, and he doesn't have many options when you're directly under him with the parasol. Um, but like another thing is like fading back to the ledge and just fast falling to the ledge. If you notice that they're gonna jump on the side platforms, what's really good is if you just like fast fall and go to the ledge instead. Like fast fall, like if the ledge is like right here, um, and okay. you're up here, you want to like fast fall to like here and then float to the ledge. Like open the parasol like here and then float to the ledge. And if they jump on the platform, they can't really hit you from that. If like I if have the option between uh, doing the fast fall and opening the parasol and then uh, doing the fast fall to grab ledge, what yeah. do you think would be better? Just because I feel like Peach's uh, ledge options are just kind of limited. Yeah. Um, yeah, they are for sure. But th the problem is that like it's hard to predict them missing an attack. This is like a reaction thing where if they miss an attack, this is when you should like open the parasol. It's also fine that you landed on the, on the um, the platform here. Mm -hmm. You know, you could go for like a shield, like yeah. basically, basically I knew just he was shield. Back. Yeah, and then like if he goes for an attack, you can neutral air out of shield. That's a good thing. But it looks like you. Um, I tried to down smash for sure. Okay. Whoa. I can't believe you I got that. I recently learned how to do that. 
Yeah, those are fine down smashes right there. Like, oh my gosh, that up smash is good. Oh. Yeah, the float, the float was really good. Um, he just he reacted really well, and and that's what happens if you if you um, go towards him too much. Like if you float while while going towards him, what you should do there, like after missing the two downers, I believe you missed two downers, um, is start floating backwards. Like you need to go backwards so that way he can't punish you then. Yeah, because I'm about to run out. Yeah. So here the float. Um, so right there, it should have been like a fade backwards. Uh, if you do this in this position, though, like jab is still also good. Jab's like a good thing where like if they're not frame tight, they're gonna hit get hit by the jabs, which you can, you can usually combo into dash attack. Um, but in general, it's normally like just better to start floating backwards if your if your aerials are missing. Yeah, that down smash, that down smash is good because like he couldn't avoid it. And that was a really good recovery. As well. Um, another like super good thing that I don't think you've been doing. Uh, it's simply just wave dash back. A lot of people, when they try to approach you, uh, they'll try to like attack where you are, and a wave dash back will like alter their their spacing just slightly enough for you to get a hit. So like if he's um, a common scenario is like if he's doing short hop forward airs, right? Um, what's good is just wave dash back, and then his forward air is gonna miss, and you can you can uh, counter attack him with usually down tilt is really good. Even down smash would be fine, but down tilt's a really good like combo yeah. move. But weave dash back. Weave dash back is is so good. Yeah, so right there just crouch. Like don't even commit to the down smash. Just see what he's going to do. And if he's not going to do anything, that's when you drop through with an aerial. Stitch face. No. Oh. <laughs> no. <Heart> breaking. <laughs> Go backwards, yep. Or that works too, yeah. Uh oh. Alright, you're good. <laughs> Don't scare me like that, man. I didn't let him land, so he didn't get his jump back. Uh oh. When you recover yeah, there, bad height. yeah, you have to be careful not to flow at his needle height. Mm -hmm. um, it's good to like start floating just slightly low. This makes up for the last stitch face. I think it's gone. Yeah. If, yeah, if you're not sure about like which options to do in the neutral game, um, jump high and float. I think you just need to try that more. Like if there's if there's anything you can take from this, jump high and float. Especially because like, um, especially like Spider J as a player, it looks like he just doesn't know how to respond to it. Okay. You know, like he looks pretty confused whenever you float high. Yeah. That, hey. was, that was what we were talking about. Oh my That's god. That's what we were talking about. You just that did is it. beautiful, isn't it? Sometimes you can combo that into into neutral air, actually. Like if you hit him with a parasol, you fast fall and then you jump in neutral air. That works a lot of times. <laughs> it had a chance. Yeah. Um, There's got to be a better option than that yes. scenario. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me help you out. I played uh, meds on uh, Netplay two days ago, and I killed him with it doing that exact same thing. But he's <laughs> like, why would you forward smash? That was so scrubby. I was like, there's, there's yeah. probably a better option. <laughs> it's a one in three chance. Yeah, exactly. Well, that I get the well, tennis sort racket. Of. That's what I want. Yeah. But well, in this situation, too, at but that one, golf club would have been great. Yeah. But it's, a, it's like a one in three chance, kind of. That yep. you're gonna get the frying pan. 
Like, the only way to guarantee that it's not the frying pan is if the last one if you... If I knew it was, yeah. Yeah, uh, and uh, what's better here is to just... Uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it's going ham. Oh, my gosh. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Got to get this thing. Okay. <laughs> um, float. So, like, hold down and, and then press jump so that way you float yep. lowest to the ground and back air or neutral air. So, it's like you float... So, if I'm facing him there... Um, even if you're not facing him, Nair is good too. Okay. Um, so <laughs> right here. Um, even like I guess you don't even have to float. Actually, you can kind of just like, like I could jump Nair, jump right there. backwards and Nair. Yeah, jump backwards and Nair would also work. But if you have like more time than this, then like jumping and floating. And then waiting him to fall down, and then neutral air is normally the best thing. Instead of forward smash. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta be careful of that. That Shino Stall's hit you a couple of times. Usually if he's... Yeah, oh. too many. Normally if he's like... Um, if he's... Uh, doing the Shino Stall... You kind of just have to respect it. What's actually pretty good against Shino Stalls is just throw a lot of turnips. Yeah. I try to get it caught in their fire because then it just keeps going up yeah, and up and yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. And it forces uh, them to like keep Shino Stalling. Yep. And if they mess up, they're going to get hit. You yep. know? And it's zero or risk on your they try end. to get on the stage. Yep. Yeah, yeah. They exactly. So, um, yeah. So, so basically what I want you to take away from this is, is um, try floating really high against especially him. But like in every matchup, like jumping and floating high, what's what's actually pretty good, like a pretty good float height, is if you just jump and then just wait for your float to come out. Like that's like floating at like that height, like your full wow. jump height, is actually pretty good. And then uh, like relatively high is what I'm talking about. Really? So floating like pretty high, and then that's um, ballsy. It's really? just good because like players have to c make a commitment if they want to hit you out of that. And that's that's like uh -huh. the. Yeah, okay. that's, that's the I main see your thing. reasoning. Like, like, they have to, like, try to come at you if they want to hit you out of your float. And you have the option to drift backwards. And if they miss, then you just come down with a forward air. Or even if, like, they don't do anything, you come down with a forward air. Like, the forward air is just so hard to stop when you're floating like that. Um, especially if you have stage control, to uh, so you can drift backwards. Um, and then another thing is just simply crouching on platforms. Uh, and not down smashing and seeing what they do because a lot of players that are experienced versus peach they're going to wait for you to down smash in which case you could just crouch and see if they're going to if not then you drop you can drop to the platform and do an aerial um yeah i think i think those two things would just help you out a lot okay so yeah you have the vods indeed <laughs> i will be watching my phone died while we were in the middle of this so <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's why i stopped taking notes but <laughs> oh okay i see i see yeah yeah so all but right. it's all recorded, thank God. So yep, there we go. Steven's the man. There we go. Is that it? We did it. Sweet. We right. did Indeed. it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> of course, man. Good luck in your next matches, man. Indeed. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. Peace, guys.